Welcome to Weed Entertainment. And today we're going to review a tip flower called fish scale. Now I reviewed one fish scale in the past from Fire Society. And that flower really wasn't for me. But fish scale, this one, the reason it got my attention is because it's from Cookies in cooperation with Mad Cow uh, Genetics. And that surely gets my attention. Now, so I went down to the Lemonade Van Nuys, and I didn't realize it was by Mad Cow till I actually looked at the packaging down there. And Lemonade Van Nuys has a really good menu, and I bought a bunch of different strains, and today is going to be Fish Scales Day. Now, one thing I didn't look, and I've got to get better at this. Because it was Fish Scale and Cookies and Mad Cow, I didn't look at the THC, because Mad Cow is bringing THC in the 30s. This flower only has 18.22% THC. Now, let me just say there's 18% flower that can be fire, but I just know for me, with all my use, the best flowers are in the mid-20s and, and the, in the 30s. Maybe the lowest is 22 that I really look at it and say, oh, that's fine. Anyway, let me take a quick uh, rip out of Vapor Cup. I've got one hit's worth of flower in here. It can last 10, 12 minutes. It's an incredible device. I'm telling you, it changed my life. It made my life so much better. I used to have to like go behind things and go where, and now I can just use flour anywhere I want to. It is a euphoric experience. I think from the feedback I get from a lot of people is this thing is strong and more euphoric, maybe less couch lock with this. And maybe that's why I like it so much because the doc can't be lazy. I'm looking for heavy flowers with focus that can grim me out. So let's check out Fish Scale by Cookies Mad Cow with 18% uh, percent THC. So you can see this thing really vapes good. The cure is through the roof. I'm telling you, you can push on uh, fish scale the bud and it like melts into grind. It is just crazy. I call it the meat off the bones. This one is all the way good. They say they have an 18 day cure. I'm telling you, Mad Cow has, excuse me, has it going on. Oh my goodness. So this flower is medium strong. And with 18, and also, you know, maybe there's some, it's tainted a little bit by the low THC. It wasn't really strong with me. It was just medium strong. And I'm going to give this thing a scale because I think for a lightweight and for heavyweight, this is a different flower. So I think for a heavyweight, this is maybe an 8.6, right? Meaning that you would think, oh, I wish it was a little bit stronger. It's good. It may be a good daytime flower for you guys. But for a heavyweight like me, I really thought this was just better than an average top shelf flower. So I'm going to give this thing an 865, and I'm going to give it a heavyweight uh, uh, 86. It's, a, it's in there somewhere. For me, I like this flower as a daytime flower. This would not be a nighttime flower for me. And I think there's a place for 18% THC. The more THC you put in, the more you need to make it work. You're building tolerance. This is a tip flower. Do I think there's better cookie strains to try than fish scale? Absolutely. Not maybe. There's a, I'm going to line them up, actually. I've collected up, I don't know, 50 cookie strains. So we're going to line them all up and let the best flowers be known. Thanks for joining in. The tips have made this show so good. People who watch this show, we're pros. Nothing less. This show is about facts. It's not about how it tastes. It's all about the something something. If you have a tip for me, leave it below the video. If you want to get a Vapor Cup, you can get one at VaporCup.com. Look at the reviews. It's really good. And also, if you we're going to have the first annual Vapor Cup on Zoom. So if you have a Vapor Cup and you'd like to be a part of that, if you could uh, email at info at WeedEntertainment.com. We're all going to have some fun online. It should be a memorable experience. Thanks for joining in. If you like the videos, please subscribe. I'll be back. Party on, my friends.